Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own custom 3DS theme. So if you guys are interested, all you need is a Nintendo 3DS with um, custom firmware or homebrew installed. You also need an SD card. So go and connect your SD card to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, now I'm going to try and do this video as quick as possible because most of the custom theme tutorials on YouTube seem to be about 20 to 30 minutes long and to be honest I just think that's way too long for a tutorial. So the first thing you will need is two pictures, a picture for the top 3DS screen and a picture for the bottom 3DS screen. So if you just get a picture of Google Images, what you want to do is you want to right click it, then you want to do, you want to select open with and then you choose some kind of um, image editing software. I'm just going to use paint. Then you want to go to the resize tab right here, go to pixels and untick this box right here. And you must put horizontal as 512 and then vertical as 256. Then just click OK and now you can just go on file and just save your image. You want to do the exact same thing for the bottom screen. So I'm just going to do that really quick right now. So 512, 256, then just file, save it. But so once you've got the top and bottom images sorted out, next you need some audio. So this will play, you know, as the background music on your theme. So I've just got a song right here. Um, you know, I just got it. You guys can get these songs however you want. But basically what you want to do is right click, go to properties. And you want to make sure that the music, I'd say probably about a minute in length. You also want to make sure that the size is under 3.33 megabytes. If it's over 3.33 megabytes, um, it won't work. And the theme could possibly just get corrupted and stuff like that. So just make sure it's under 3 megabytes and you will be good to go. Next thing you need to do is go to the two links in the description of this video. The first link is just the 3DS theme editor. It's in a zip file. All you want to do is just click the zip file and it will begin downloading. The second link in the description is the looping audio. Uh, this is just to get the audio working. So all you want to do is get the Windows version or Linux if you're on Linux and wait for that to download as well. Right, so back in your downloads folder, once you've got these two files, all you want to do is extract them. So, yep, so you want to right click it and then do extract to this option and then right click this one and do extract to a 3ds theme editor just so they're in their own file folders. Now you can just delete the zip files and the first thing you want to do is open the looping audio converter. So go into the file and double click this program to run it. And the program is just going to look like this. But what you want to do in your downloads folder is just create a new file. And this is where you want to give it the name of your theme. So my theme is based off an anime, so I'm just going to give it a name. Just like that, give your theme a name. And what you want to do, you want to drag the audio and top image and bottom image into the folder. Just so it looks like that. Then open up the audio converter software again, go to add. This is where you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder. Go into your themes file and open up the audio. Just so it looks like this. Now what you want to do guys is it's going to say output format. What you want to do is select BCSTM. Uh, you then want to go down and check this one, export loop segment. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Now all you want to do is just click start. Uh, this is then just going to sort it out. It's going to say exported to files, click OK and then come out of this. That is it for the audio. Um, a lot of other videos are a bit more complicated so I think this is probably the easiest one to get your audio working. Then go into this, go into the output folder and this is the file you want to copy, um, the one with loop in it. So right click and go to copy. Then go back to your downloads folder, go into your theme file, right click and paste it in. Now all you want to do is rename this file and no capitals, just type in BGM and then click next to it. And there you go, you've got the audio. Now what you're going to do is edit your theme. So go into the 3DS theme editor, open up the exe file. So now what you want to do is just get your images and this is what the theme will look like. So go into image, top, and then select import. It should come out of your downloads folder. If not, just go over to it. And then it just select your top image. Now what you want to do for the same for the bottom image. So image, uh, bottom, import and then select the bottom image. So now it's looking um, something like this and as you can see the theme is coming together really well. Now what you want to do is start customizing it. So if you go onto, I believe it's flags, 
Right, so on colours, as you can see, all of these things are disabled. What you want to do is on flags, each time you enable something, so let's say, um, let's find something to enable. So like file colour, you can enable that, file texture. As you can see, everything you enable changes here. Um, cursor colours, so that's there. Now you can go on to colours and you can start editing the cursor colours. So let's say I wanted it all blue. And by the way guys, the colours will match the colours you have on the theme. So if I set this all to blue, as you can see, now that is all blue. So there's plenty of stuff you can do here, but um, it's entirely up to you guys because this is all personal preference. But there's one thing you'll definitely want to do and that is enable background music right here. So let me just enable some other random stuff. So we've got arrow button, uh, arrow colour. Obviously you can change all the colours and stuff here. Folder texture, we'll leave that off. 3D colour. Yeah, so to be honest, I think that is looking all right. I mean, I'm not too bothered about changing all the colors and stuff, but obviously if you guys want to, um, you know, definitely go ahead and do it. So let's just put a few colors on this one. Look at buttons looking nice now. So yeah, what you want to do now, guys, is just add an author. So this is where you put your name. Then you just want to add a description. And then you can add a long description. Just like that. Now what you want to do is go on File and go to Save. This is when I'm going to uh, select you to save your theme. So make sure you're in your Downloads folder. Make sure you're in your Themes folder. And then just click Save. And make sure it's called Body underscore LZ dot bin. Uh, just press Save on that. Then it's going to come up with Saving Theme. The theme has saved su successfully. Now this is the point where you want to load in your audio. So what you want to do guys is where it says BGM right here, you want to just click load. And then it's going to load in the BGM audio. So I'm just going to turn mine down a bit and I'm not sure if this song is copy play copyrighted so I'm just going to play it for a few seconds. So as you can see it's working fine. Um, so you guys can play it for longer if you want to and you can just test the whole thing and it's also a good idea to play the whole thing to make sure it loops also you don't want the sound to sound distorted so I'd probably put it on about 0.53 uh, just so it's halfway so that is pretty much it once you've got your BGM loaded you want to go to file and save again theme save successfully there's a few other options you can do you can change the file folder here um, you can change the image of it I'm just gonna leave it how it is to change it all you do is click and then you drag around and you can set it as anything you want so once you're done with this you can close out of it then just go back to your downloads folder go into your theme file and now your theme is going to look something like this so what you want to do you actually want to remove a few files from the theme you want to remove the two images and your audio file to remove them all just all you want to do is just put them in your downloads folder just so your theme has these four files in uh, the BGM audio the body the info and the preview so once you've got a theme looking like this make sure your 3ds's SD card is plugged in uh, on the SD card look for the themes folder and simply just drag and drop this in as you can see it copied across very quick you can always look at the other themes you've got in here and you will see that the files on there are very similar so you know they're in the correct format so now what I'm going to do is head over to my 3DS and show you guys how to install the theme using any theme manager you wish and I'll show you guys how it looks Right guys, so I'm back on my 3DS right now and my SD card is plugged in. So now what you want to do guys is just find any theme manager you wish. Um, so there's a few of them right here. There's this one right here, um, 3DS Theme Manager. That's a very popular one. Personally, I actually prefer Themely. Um, I just tend to get less errors with it and I kind of like the design of it. So just press, um, just open up whatever theme software you wish. It really doesn't matter. Um, they all install the themes the same. Give it a few seconds to load and then scroll down the list and you're looking for your theme. So let's just have a look for mine. I think I just went past it. Yep, here it is. This is the theme that I got. As you can see, it's got my name here. Uh, theme made by Tech James by Tech James. Uh, as you can see, there it is. So to install it, all you want to do is just press A. Uh, you can actually do X for a preview on this software, but I'm just going to install it. So it's going to come up with all these files. Once it's installed, whatever theme software, software you're on, all you want to do is press start. It's then going to ask you to power off your 3DS. Go ahead and power it off. 
then just wait for it to power it off, give it a five seconds and then go and power it back on. And there you go guys, your custom theme is now working uh, with working sound and everything like that. So I'm just going to turn up the sound for a second. So as you can see, uh, the sound is actually working. But this sound is probably copyrighted so I don't really want to play it for too long. But that is how you get custom themes. As you can see, you can scroll along and stuff like that. Um, it's actually really cool. Uh, 3D actually works, um, so that's kind of a nice feature. Obviously on camera, it looks terrible, but there you go. So yeah, that is how you make your own custom 3DS theme um, as fast as possible. I really didn't want to make like a 20 minute video because, you know, who wants to watch that? So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.